of order. Roll call. Dino Pass Velasquez. You got it. Robert Ellis. Here. Gary Libby. Here. Teresa Doan. Here. Krista Goodrich. And Tony Cervantes. All right. Everybody receive a copy of uh, the February 9th meeting minutes. Yes. Okay. Is there a motion for approval? So moved. <clears throat> Is there a second? All second. Uh, is there any discussion? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I don't think the minutes need to be corrected, but there's some additional information, for example, on the application for a, uh, a, a grant from the county. What, what's in the minutes is accurate, but it's not the full the full gist of things. So maybe under new business, I'll mention that, or would you prefer I do it here? Well, the minutes are not the minutes are not a verbatim record of what took place. So as long as you feel that the gist of it is accurate, we can go with it. Or if you want to amend the minutes to be more reflective of what you felt was said, you can do that as well. I think I would like to do that. Okay, oh, yeah, we'll go ahead and I'm amend it and add what you want. The newest information on, on ECHO applications are that the city may apply to the county manager for permission to use redevelopment funds as part of its match in city grant. It has to go to him first. It's not automatic. I thought it had become automatic. But it's okay. Is that... It, is that that was not what you said at the last meeting. That's new information. Get there. I just said the city would. Okay, so that would be part of the new, new business or old business. Going back and talking about it. That's not amending the minutes because that was not discussed at the last meeting. Well, what we discussed at the last meeting was that the city was eligible to apply for an echo grant. I, okay. Right, and that's that. The fact okay, that there is additional requirements is new information that would yeah. be part of this new. Meeting. All right, well, then I'll withdraw my request. Okay. In the minutes. No. Okay, and you recall, we'll withdraw your second. So we have a motion and a second on the original uh, minutes. Um, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. Now is your turn. On old business, do you want to bring that up? <laughs> well, um, I guess yes, if old business and not new business is where I do it. Well, it would be old business because we talked about it. Okay. Yeah, I have learned that CRA funds are eligible as match by a city if the, an application is made to the county manager and he... You mean city manager? Wait. That the county manager must be uh, approached for permission... Uh, so that the city may use redevelopment funds as part of its match on an ECHO grant. Used to be no CRA funds. Holly Hill is using almost all CRA funds on the pickleball courts, and that sort of opened the door in a discussion. Wait, but are you saying it goes to the city manager or county manager? The, the city manager or his assignee, we have a grant writing team, will prepare a document that will go to the county manager. Okay. The county manager will have to understand and say, yes, I think the, the project is significant enough that and it does qualify under your redevelopment standards. It does satisfy an element from the redevelopment plan, which it does. Okay, now that does not have to be voted on. Just make sure that you put that in the minutes. Okay, all right. All right, any other old business? Uh, See, so now we'll move on to new business. Request to add a fixed canopy to building located at three boardwalk and a quarter of a section 6.14.h2 of the land development code. Uh, would you like to make the presentation read? Yes, I would. I'm, and uh, if you just work with me, uh, I don't have the uh, the thing that change it. So if you'll do it from over there, is that okay? It. All right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so under the new business, what we have uh, on your agenda is really uh, two very similar uh, requests uh, that um, I don't remember this coming before the, uh, the board before, but these are uh, provisions in our land development code that say if 
someone wants to do uh, a, uh, a rigid, not an uh, you know canvas flexible kind of awning, and wants to do something that would be thinking. Wait, Reed. Before we go on, yeah. we always said that we would uh, allow the police officer to make his presentation. Could we go ahead and do that now, uh, um, and then we'll uh, and then we'll move on to this. You're, yeah, we don't have the assigned police officer. We have oh, security here. Oh, he was here just walking through for, from police, but uh, he's, okay. he's not here for that purpose. No problem. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. No problem. I'm sorry. Go on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what I can tell you is is that uh, when you want to have uh, awnings uh, placed out there on the buildings that are existing, uh, and they're going to be a, uh, a rigid type of a canopy, in this case uh, a flat canopy uh, that, that hangs out there over the building, it's something that wouldn't otherwise be allowed in a redevelopment area, so you would have to get the redevelopment board's uh, um, permission to do so. So that, that's why there's that that uh, a statement in here that uh, we provided in your report that uh, just says that that's that's under your authority to uh, to determine whether or not. Uh, these canopies would uh, be an integral part of the structure. They'd be compatible and harmonious with the scale and character of the structure. And adjacent structures impose no visual impediment to adjacent buildings. So that's really, you know, looking at it, saying, you know, do you do you think this is an issue? It's coming to us because uh, staff is really uh, considered that uh, this is actually going to be an improvement. Uh, um, to the buildings because they're not the uh, the balloon type structures and others that we've had in the past that our redevelopment standards uh, um, say are not the type of design we want. Okay. So uh, uh, the first location is on the boardwalk. It's uh, part of the Pizza King business. Uh, this the, there's really it's not part of the Pizza King. It's part it's of the part Michael's of a, Beach where Oh, you're saying the building, right? Of the building yeah, itself yeah, yeah. on that parcel. But you're right. That's this is. So there's really two different businesses that have entrances into this one parcel. Right. That's the picture of it, um, and you can see that that arched uh, type of awning. We do not uh, uh, permit those in the, in the current time. So. Um, uh, this is the uh, just the engineered drawing of it, uh, and then this is what it would look like. You have a very low profile. It's uh, very similar to something that was done over at the Pizza King, and matches up the same uh, height. So uh, you actually get more visibility uh, of the signage, the the buildings, uh, both to the right and left side of of that awning. So it's actually in more than a few ways meets the criteria that, that that's in there as far as staff's um, concern. So, okay. yeah. Okay. The, uh, the, these new awnings uh, are much, they have to meet the code, and, and the code is much tougher on them. I mean, the other awnings, right. would, half of it would blow away, and I mean, they were, they were at a, a fragility to them, and I know there was a danger a problem there. So. And, and the code uh, is pretty tight on these, pretty tough on these uh, yeah, permanent I, ones. Absolutely. Yeah, they, they have to be hurricane stand. Right. Uh, it was, it was so the way the, that these are put together, um, you know, they they always, in a hurricane, you're not going to be out there anyway, but or shouldn't be. <laughs> Except unless you're the owner of the building, maybe. Okay. Well, the, the, so. the fortunate thing is that we could actually evacuate, and all we have to do is watch the news. And for some reason, they focus on the boardwalk. <laughs> they just <laughs> sit there and 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 the pier, you know. Uh, yeah. And so we, we we actually see what's going on, you know. So again, for the reasons that I've already provided, uh, staff would recommend, and we're we're talking about three boardwalk right now, uh, we, we would recommend that they be allowed to proceed with uh, uh, getting the permit for that type of sign. Yeah. Um, so I just need to have a, a, a vote from the board that uh, they concur with staff. I'll move that we um, uh, concur with the staff recommendation. You got it. This first item. Okay. I'll second. And there's a second. Um, any discussion? Will they be able to add advertising to it? 
And within this, whatever the sign ordinance declares? Yeah, they would have to come back if they're going to put some signage on. A lot of times in this kind where they, they have some, some area above, like Pizza King, they yeah. may elect to uh, put the signage. Is there a sign that they there. could put without having to come back, or they have to come back on any they sign? They have to come back for any, any sign. sign. Any, any sign. sign. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Uh, there's a motion. There's a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, it passed unanimous. Now we're going on to the second part of this, which is now Michael's Beach, we're facing Ocean Avenue. Right, so th this is, you've, you've already uh, been given the criteria. You know what uh, we're talking about here in terms of location. This is uh, actually on Ocean Avenue. It's, it's addressed uh, is uh, seven uh, boardwalk, but it's actually uh, uh, got a rear entrance here. And so uh, this uh, older uh, type of awning would go away um, and you would have the same kind of structure uh, set up there. And this is the, uh, the drawing that shows what it would look like uh, set up there. There's one thing I do want to note. You'll, you'll see the, the, uh, the board. Uh, there, there's sort of a, an area that goes up to the roof and we need to have that addressed as far as some uh, a, a code issue with some painting that'll be dealt with as a part of getting the permit uh, with the property owner. But other than that, uh, um, staff does not see any reason why they shouldn't be able to uh, have that uh, canopy. Okay. okay. All right. I'll move acceptance of the staff recommendation. All right. Is there a second? I'll second. All right. Okay, any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so we're now on to um, the election of officers. All right. Um, well, I guess let's go ahead and have the election. We'll start with the presidency and, and work the way down. Now, I'm I'm what's called it termed out, so I mean I'm going to be on this board until my replacement comes. So I don't want to be nominated for anything, okay? <laughs> and it seems as though we have. Um, uh, well, we'll go from there. Uh, I want to start with the uh, office of of chairman. Is there uh, a nomination for chairman? Is there a nomination for chairman? Somebody's got to nominate somebody, okay? <laughs> and I'm not allowed, to, I'm not supposed to do any nominations myself, you know? Um, so is there a nomination for chairman? Hey there, for you. Can the, can Mr. Servants? Okay. okay. Uh, am I, uh, uh, seeing none, can I make a nomination? Or? Yes, yes, okay. yes. All right. Um, okay, I, I'm, I'm going to nominate Gary Libby. Okay, is there a second? I'll second. Okay. All right, there, um, is there any other nomination? Is there any no other nomination? I'm supposed to say three times. Is there any other nomination? Okay, seeing none, Gary, you are the chairman. All right, thank you. Okay, now... Uh, I'll, I'll, I guess, should I just complete this uh, thing and then you can take over? Okay. Okay. Well, vice Chairman, is there a nomination for a Vice Chairman? I nominate Dino. Oh, no, you're not. Uh, I can't. But you're termed out of, of chair. No, he's. Yeah, but I'm vice I'm termed out. I won't vice be. Vice Chair, too? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be termed out. So, I mean, I, I, you know, somebody's going to eventually come and replace me. So, you know, instead of having to deal with in the future, is best that, you know. I'm going to nominate Robert Ellis. Mr. Ellis. All right. Okay, is there a second? I'll, so uh, did you, Gary nominate? I second. Okay. All right, uh, there's a motion and a second. Okay. Is there any other nominations? Is there any other nominations? Is there any other nomination? Seeing none, okay, we'll, we'll close the line. Congratulations, Robert. Thank you. And when's okay. that take effect? What's that? When does that take effect? I, mean, I didn't. Hear oh, okay. when does that begin? Oh, I guess it, it could begin now or it could begin later, but we're almost done with the meeting. So I guess it, <laughs> yeah, I'll finish it. Okay. You know, okay. Uh, redevelopment project update. 
Ready? <clears throat> okay. Uh, first of all, the uh, uh, DOT had uh, a public meeting. I don't know if any of you had the opportunity to attend it uh, in, in person. They also had it online, uh, which I found because I, I did the online version or, and, uh, and it didn't tell me a whole lot of uh, what I didn't already know. So uh, there is some information that I have available if you want that uh, uh, was a part of that meeting has some uh, ways to get at their website and if you want to go back and, and follow the, the progress of what they're proposing. But it's kind of interesting. This is, you, you know what they've done on uh, Oak Ridge with some of the changes there, right? So uh, um, now on A1A, they're looking at, at, at doing some uh, uh, changes to that uh, street as well, to ISB. And so uh, it really is the first time we're seeing them take some very direct action to try to manage uh, the traffic, particularly the pedestrian safety, mm. bicycle safety uh, mm -hmm. along those routes. So uh, it's, it's, it's not the, uh, the major change that uh, everyone was thinking would might, may occur right now, but they, they are in the process of, of working through some of the uh, acquisition of some properties so that they can uh, uh, provide some uh, additional real estate to uh, um, increase the, uh, the width. And uh, at this point, I don't think I'm going to see any roundabouts, traffic circles, whatever you want to call them, that, that's uh, off the table right now, so far as I know. So that's, that's, the, uh, that's the first item. Uh, the, uh, the next item is Beaches ISB. Uh, they're open. And uh, so uh, Dr. Duvall has succeeded in, in getting the first phase of that project off the ground. The, the uh, items that are still in process would be the landscaping and changes to the gateway uh, property that's um, just uh, to the west of um, Beaches ISB. So and then they're going to add the second floor and put the uh, EM computer science. Right. So that there would be the, uh, the EMC message center, electronic message center. Um, so, so work in progress, but there were a lot of people out there today enjoying the, uh, uh, the sunshine, the tables that are out there. Um, people actually washing their cars. So there seems to be some demand there for that. Um, <laughs> Uh, and, but I think that, uh, again, this is a project that was intended to kind of uh, morph into whatever the interests and the demands were that uh, they could do within the constraints of a planned development. Um, so, uh, um, which, are, which are pretty large. Right. There's a lot, of, a lot of things in terms of uses that they could do out there. And uh, um, there's also... Um, uh, I'll have to, have to say, because I saw it, there are graphics out there on a wall. We call it a mural or a wall graphic. Uh, and at some point, we'll probably do like we did with Henry's Pizza across the um, ISB, which is to uh, sanctify, to, to uh, because there has to be some way for us to just uh, make it all uh, legit. But it's, it's, a, it's a nice... Uh, a graphic on, on the side of a, what was a large blank wall. So um, uh, unless there's any objections, uh, I think we'll uh, probably want to ask that that be brought forward to the board. Um, the uh, last thing I wanted to do is I handed out uh, information about uh, a new redevelopment director who's coming on board and who will replace me uh, at the end of May. Uh, he'll get here. This is Mr. Ken Thomas. He's out of the city of Leesburg, and he does what I do. I've known him for years. Uh, he, he is uh, uh, a professional that uh, has been very involved in, in uh, the state organization, and this year he's on the uh, uh, head of the planning committee uh, for the state conference, which has been decided it would be in Daytona Beach yeah. again. So the Florida Redevelopment Association will be here in, I believe, October. 
uh, one week before or after the uh, 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 bike week. I'm, I know there's not a direct conflict there, so we we address that. So, <laughs> Biketoberfest, I should say, and so uh, that's what we're uh, uh, going to uh, um, do. And hopefully, I think each time we've had our FRA conference here, I think there's been four since I've been here, and they have uh, uh, always had some uh, issues with some of the precipitation and uh, large wind events. Yeah. I think Sandy was one of them. Yeah. And, yes. um, so, <laughs> yeah, but it, it's, yeah, it's, it's uh, that time of year, uh, sometimes we, we get a little bit of, of weather. And uh, in this case, uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed that uh, they'll have some yeah, uh, great weather. I, I really don't know what, um, uh, if she's still involved with the Florida League of Cities or whatever, but. One of your predecessors, Suzanne Kuhn, would have had a heart attack if she sees that awnings are not uh, currently allowed in the redevelopment area or whatever it yes. was that was said. Okay, but anyway, said, do you have you ever met Suzanne Kuhn? I have. I've met with her, and I we've we've talked, and I uh, I imagine uh, if uh, uh, I think she's uh, going to be one of those people that'll at least if I get the chance. I'll be going up through the uh, the mountains, and I, I'm hoping to see her uh, maybe uh, along the way. And okay. uh, and I'll uh, beg forgiveness. Where is she now? Sure. She, Pardon me? I know she was at Cape Coral for a number of years. Yes, she was. And then she's Cape Coral. retired now and is in the mountains with her with her son. I guess. I, I'm assuming. Yeah. That, I, uh, just uh, just for kicks and giggles, I have to tell you this: she told. Um, she told um, Denny's Corporation that they could not use their corporate colors, green and yellow, on the awnings, which caused a big loss. <laughs> okay, but anyway, <laughs> uh, but anyways, okay, they, they had a place on ISB back years ago. But anyways, she won the lawsuit. By the way, did she really? Yeah. No, no, there, there was a green, uh, green and yellow awning afterwards on that Denny's with the word with the language on it. Well, I don't know if the language was there, but it was green was and yellow. Lies, yeah. Okay. You know, anyways. Well, I, I know it, uh, I've I've been here 15 years, and uh, and so I'm uh, uh, I'm very excited, very uh, happy, and looking forward to uh, retirement. Uh, so, uh, unlike a lot of people that are telling me that uh, you know um, you know you're going to retire, and then you might as well have your funeral planned in the next week. <laughs> So you know, they're, they're, I'm. They're not true. <laughs> I have a I have a long list of things to do at home. I have a, a lot to do in terms of uh, my uh, uh, right side of brain things. You know, writing books and songs and and just being out there, uh, enjoying uh, family and life. And uh, so I'll be traveling and this summer, and then I'll uh, come back to home, which is Daytona Beach, and I will. Uh, uh, look at how I might participate yeah. as a citizen in the community. So, but this uh, wait, right now we're April. If we have a meeting next month, you'll, this you'll still be here, right? Yes, and I intend I intend to have a meeting next week uh, month because it, it would be my intent that we have both the uh, 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 the city manager, if we can arrange it, and. Uh, uh, Mr. Ken Thomas to join us. He'll get here on May sec 2nd. So that's going to be important for us okay. to get together and and uh, Is there a possibility that we could yeah. request that there be cake? <laughs> <laughs> we that we could see what we could was that Yeah. Okay. Well, at least right. we're safe on one uh, you know that when you call up uh, Mr. Libby had asked him, should we have a meeting next month? The answer is going to be yes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, oh, yeah. Definitely for this. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, we, should, yeah, we should do that. So what I'm going to do is is uh, uh, plan on definitely a, a meeting in May. Yeah. Um, and and uh, another thing I'll be doing uh, when Mr. Uh, Thomas gets here is we'll be doing the uh, get to know everybody out on the street so it's it's just not internal here it's getting out to the business people 
doing the walking tour and, uh, and make sure that he gets that chance to meet as many people as possible in the community and certainly the board members uh, that we have, so. Well, I'm sure we all will miss you, okay? And, um, and you have been a, obviously a very uh, critical member of, of the redevelopment staff and thank you very much for everything that you've done. But we get to see that next month, right? Thank you, Dino. And, you know. and I, I plan on coming to uh, some band shell events. And uh, yeah, and well, we expect you to volunteer. You know, uh, at the, at the band shell, okay? Because I mean, I an organization. You can yeah. <laughs> but my behavior can be maybe a little different than it is now. No, so, I know uh, that's all right. You know, <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's funny. We have the. Um, uh, I've already seen like yeah. the. Uh, the different costs we have because uh, we have that VIP section and it's unbelievable how many people love Elton. We have a killer Elton John, okay? <laughs> this guy this guy is like, you know, and it's already like sold, it's sold out the VIP, but it's a free concert so the rest of the area is still open for the public, you know? Um, but, um, and, and same with Journey. Journey's like pretty much mm -hmm. gone, but um, that's, that's the... Um, we're starting the concert um, uh, on um, whatever the last Saturday in May, mm -hmm. but we're going to honor the veterans June the fourth because um, uh, last year we, with graduation and with uh, uh, with some of the special events that happened, a lot of the veterans weren't even able to cross the bridge and everything. So we want to be safe, and we're we're going to just honor them on June the fourth, which is the Saturday after. Memorial Day, and 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 that's uh, already well received by all the veterans, you know. So, you know, just so everybody would know that. But anyways, I interrupted you. Continue on. That's that's okay. I I really just want to let you know that if uh, anyone uh, uh, af after May uh, wants to say something uh, 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 that's that's not nice about me, I will uh, uh, have people who will be listening, not me. And uh, and then I'll I'll come see you. No, everybody here has something nice to say. I do. You? I, you know, I, I love this this town, this community. Um, it's a great way to end my career, and I'm uh, really gonna miss everybody that's here. But uh, rather than miss people, I uh, would hope that I'm seeing people and getting out and uh, and having every excuse possible to uh, get out of the house. And you're going to live here, your family. And live family. here, That's absolutely, important. in the yeah. same house that I moved into when I first started the job here. So um, that's that's the game plan. And what and about, we'll is the city manager going to come at the next meeting? Cause, uh, he had, yes, he really wants to come to the board. He had, he had hoped before he could get here, but he plans on being here. He's shared uh, uh, some information about the... Uh, um, with the other boards, uh, and he wants to make sure that he gives that same um, uh, talk to, to this board as well so that uh, you can have a dialogue with him if you want, and we get him at the front of the meeting. Okay. Okay. So All that's right. that's uh, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions of me about projects. Um, I, I, can I ask a question? Since I'm the relatively new member of this board and we had a lot of the information in our handout tonight and in previous handouts on projects like Peabody Auditorium. I'll use that as an example. Who initiated Peabody, the renovation of Peabody as a project? Was it the staff and then did it, was it endorsed by this board? How did, how did that work with Peabody? Because uh, it appears to me that it's a, you know, it's a prior, major priority for the city, not only the city, but for the county, for our whole area. But how did that start? How did the Peabody board start? Now, it is in the plan. It's in all of, it's in the two plans. Right. The Main Street plan and it's in the E-Zone plan. Peabody is a major unit in it. Mm -hmm. But who started the discussion on Peabody and did this board enjoy information on that before the project moved forward because we're now going to commit about a million and a half dollars toward the renovation from a lot of different sources we hope but considerable amount of money 
Yeah, other than the uh, the original historic designation and nomination, there 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 was no discussion about the actual renovation board. That was something that the Peabody Advisory Board and the and and the city uh, decided to undertake. So um, there, that's that's where that discussion uh, was focused you know, as a capital project. And do you think that that is a result of the new code? Because um, when Teresa and I served on the Main Street Board, just about every project that um, was a capital intensive project using redevelopment funds came to came to the board. <clears throat> came sometimes for information and sometimes for a blessing, so to speak, because money was involved in it. And, and in this case, no CRA money is involved. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's totally uh, other monies uh, that, that are either grant monies or, or city funds. Oh, so we don't intend on applying uh, to ECHO, or we do, but we're not going to match with, with uh, redevelopment income? So far as I know. Okay. All right. Well, then I, no I believe the restroom, and I, I would have to double check this, but I believe the rest, some of the restroom renovations maybe have a racing and rec grant that's funding a portion of yes, that one. Yes, they are. Yeah, they are. Rec and racing. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Okay. Any more? Um, we're still on redevelopment project updates. Okay. No. Uh, what about the second? I mean, how's the war in uh, the Russian hotel? <laughs> the second one impacted. Well, uh, I honestly don't know, but uh, I think throughout uh, the history of that project, uh, 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 international relations have affected the time schedule of that project. That just the way it has been. So. Um, I mean, there's a point in time where the rebar is going to be uh, so rusty that they might have to engineer the project to see whether or not they're capable of continuing on, you know, with the building of the building. I, I mean, I don't know. Sure. Well, they'll, they'll do everything that uh, they need to to make sure that it's safe. I mean, the, that, that is the role of the city is to make sure that, that uh, any engineer that's... Uh, uh, working on the project and is uh, is providing documentation, mm -hmm. and that's even more uh, um, important these days with what's happened in South Florida. Exactly. Uh, so, uh, I'm I'm not too worried. I mean, it's 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 life in the global economy, and uh, we'll we'll see how that goes. Okay. But certainly, uh, most most times you're going to see uh, if if there is a foreign investment that that's going to affect the, uh, the outcome. When, um, when this group came to the Main Street Board, you remember, Teresa, when they, they visited us and they... I was here, too. Yeah. Were you on the, on the Main oh, Street yeah. Board? Yeah, for the, 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 the Russian. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think I inelegantly asked them if any of them were American citizens. I don't even remember that or not. And three of the, of the top five are. Okay. And I've stayed in one of two of their hotels in Leningrad, and I've stayed in the hotel up in Palm Coast, which is their hotel as well. Mm -hmm. And I think probably you're right, Reed. It's probably more public relations. The Russian, uh, the word Russia now is a little hotter than it was, what was it, seven years ago, eight <coughs> years ago? Quite a while. Yeah, yeah, quite a while ago when they first came. <laughs> to explain, uh, we met downstairs, and that room downstairs was a brand new, was a brand new room. Um, so I think you're right. I think they are, I, my understanding is that they are moving along at their pace, mm -hmm. and they're hoping that we don't have World War III with Russia, because that'll make marketing, uh, if they lose their edge, their, their use of the word Russian has been a positive thing in other cities where they've built, like in Charleston. And uh, so I think it's just a matter of time. I don't think you have to worry about the rebar. Okay. I think the rebar. You know, yeah, it's just, look at it. It's just yeah, it's looks exposed. Pretty, it's yeah. Looks pretty rusty. Right now, our, I think the main concern is, is, is just uh, uh, resolving the conflicts that are going on now that nobody yeah. wants to see happen. So. Yeah. Um, and in the meantime, uh, you know, rubles... They're going down, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. 
All right, we're, we're in the public comments section of the meeting, and we have one person, and I'm going to take a while. Well, you know, I almost felt like doing the Johnny Carso thing, saying, mm -hmm. John Nicholson, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Come on up. <laughs> John Nicholson, 413 North Cranberry Avenue. That must be also my five, because I wanted to speak on five as well. Okay. Um, several things. Uh, Wednesday night's meeting. Uh, well, I was just handed this. You know. I know. Okay. I, I saw it. That's why, that's why you didn't call me. Okay. Um, talk to Mr. Fiatri at the end of the meeting, um, and surprisingly, the mayor concurred that uh, he will be here at some point. Uh, he's gone to uh, the other uh, two other CRA meetings. Um, that you talk to him and ask uh, for all the things that you want to ask for. Uh, things changed uh, when um, uh, Sheila McKay was in. Uh, she asked that at least some residents be on the board, and he changed everything. So, Gary, you're correct. Things that you were accustomed to doing no longer happen. So I'm asking you to go back, ask him to go back to what the original intent of these boards were. Secondly, I ask you to uh, ask for anything you need, especially updates. And he said that he would, because um, the problem I had with Reed is, uh, what's this, ha I don't know. What's going on, I don't know. Um, they don't let him know anything. So if he doesn't know anything, he can't let the board know anything. Uh, there have been several buildings torn down. Uh, there's, a, I think, a tattoo parlor going in across the street from me, right there on A1A. Um, but I ask you to ask for a uh, project manager. Now, we've not had a project manager since David. That's, I think, 12, 13 years ago. And the other boards have project managers or did have them. We don't. Uh, we should. And we should have uh, funding to advertise. Downtown has a downtown board, DDA. And they advertise. They put in uh, projects. They have events, et cetera. We don't. We should. We should have events on... Uh, Boardwalk, we should have events on uh, A1A, we should have events on the beach. All of that needs money and needs advertisement. We should have a source of funding. Uh, secondly, Oak Ridge, I ask you guys to at least take a trip down Oak Ridge. If you don't like yellow, don't go. Uh, they have these road crossings, four per block. They're about yay big around, and it's ugly as sin, all right? It is a terrible, terrible street. Okay, the sidewalk, you don't want to walk down the sidewalk, all right? It zigzags around, and you're walking down the street, and all of a sudden there's grass in front of you, and you have to go to the right, and then back to the left. And at certain intersections you want to cross, you can't. So if you want to go from, like, where my house is on Grandview to Seabreeze, you have to go across the street, then across the street, then across the street, and then down again. There's no direct across on a lot of these. So... Um, it is extremely awkward, and they're not finished yet. There are several sections that are not um, grassed or whatever. Uh, beaches, if you drive by, Beaches doesn't say restaurant on their building. I mean, we all know that it's a restaurant, but do tourists know it's a restaurant? And I'm wondering if they could put the word restaurant right above where the tables are so that people know that it's a restaurant. Uh, the sidewalk, uh, they've started. Uh, you know, the gas is going in and they're digging holes in the sidewalk, thousands of them up and down, and they're filling them with asphalt. Now, they were going to come back and just fill in that little curb so we end up these splotches. Uh, David has talked to them, and they're going to do the whole nine yards. So they're cutting out a four-by-four four area and re-cementing it. Unfortunately, they did half my block when there were 9,000 kids coming here with a Friday night on Seabreeze. So we had 9,000 kids Friday night, and the cement was wet and freshly poured at 5 o'clock at night. No time to dry, riding on every single one of them. So uh, hopefully they'll clean that up. Uh, Siri, you may want to update the rules, the color scheme, all of that. Things have changed in 35 years. I know, Gary, you haven't noticed it, but everything has changed. The color schemes that we did not like years ago, the Art Deco may not want what we want now. Uh, the, remember, we couldn't have neon, we couldn't have LED. It's time to upgrade what we want, and I know it'll take some time, but I think you guys should do that. Take whatever we had from 35, 
years ago and take a look at it, toss out what doesn't fit any longer. Um, Memorial Day, uh, the mayor doesn't believe we did, had a shooting, but if some of you all listen to the news, uh, we had a, a dump in or whatever you want to call it, a takeover of our beach on Memorial Day, and some of the guys decided to start shooting at each other uh, on the boardwalk and in Breakers Park. Uh, the mayor doesn't believe it happened, so I'm asking you guys to ask for extra police for Memorial Day because they're supposed to be coming back. Oh, I saw the video. I have. Yeah, they, they there there was shooting, and they did have um, casings. Uh, we had extra police yeah. last year when it happened. Yeah. Uh, I I was there both years when yeah. things happened. There was a much larger police. Yeah, we even had a fight year. right. It wasn't front. enough. <laughs> we had a fight right in front of Mardi Gras. It was you know yeah. ridiculous. You but yeah. anyways. And uh, Joubert had a cop being pulled by the neck out through his parking lot. Um, cheerleaders, we just had the cheerleaders here. Uh, they forgot to put out the trash cans. So the boardwalk was littered with trash from one end to the other. And they didn't pick it up till like almost 10 o'clock. So um, now, when it, Who is they? You said they didn't put out the trash. The city did not put out trash. Because normally they have these tan, ugly, cigarette-filled <laughs> trash cans that they put out extra. They did not this year. And so the trash was literally besides the trash can, all over the grass. They will put it in the trash can if it's available, but the trash cans were full, and where do you put it when they're full? It went all over the place. So I'm asking whenever we have something special that we as a CRA ask that we have trash cans available. And uh, what else? Uh, oh, the roads. Uh, Gabby's doing this thing with Seabreeze, A1A, uh, Main Street. She's going to do these uh, barricades, these little bollards. I think there's 80 or 120 per intersection. They are massive, and just having that many, plus when you're walking, if you've seen these cheerleaders, they're troops of like 40 and 50. With those bollards, you're not going to be able to do that. Plus, we have um, electrical boxes at some of our intersections, which prevent people from... And so they're not going to do 40 people in a line, one after the other. They're going to go into the street. So I'm going to ask you to look carefully when she comes and presents uh, what she wants to do on uh, what they just did for um, ISB, what they're going to do for Seabreeze, what they're going to do for Main Street. And we look at it carefully for things that are not kosher. And I've talked to staff, and they admit there's some problems with Oak Ridge. So we didn't get a chance to look at it because they did a first re, uh, presentation, and then because of COVID, nothing else happened, and they just did it. So all those mistakes, I think there's like 23 of them on Oak Ridge, that we correct it before it goes into effect and it's permanent. Thank you. All right. Um, no. Yeah, John, I think um, many, many, almost all of your, your suggestions are warranted. I'm not sure you're at the right place for probably 75% of them. Now, we could interject ourselves into the maintenance crews that operate on the boardwalk, or we could try and, and get the regional um, secretary for the Department of Transportation on Oak Ridge and things, but that those are not traditional uh, functions of a board like this. Not that they're not important. But, they're, but they're, what I'm asking for is your oversight. Well, I'm not in even the past, sure. You've been not I'm not been able even to do sure so. Sure that um, you, you, sometimes you sound like George Orwell in, in 1984. <laughs> that there are are cameras that are looking through a city and t telling people to stay on the sidewalk. That's really not our function. Although I think we're all interested in your perceptions because you've lived here a long time, and I think safety is behind 90 percent of your concerns. But have you have you thought of developing a dialogue with the State Department of Transportation on I've Oak tried. Ridge? Because in the land, in the land, because I think you are correct. I go over that bridge and use that on a regular basis, and there are some questions I have. But when I inquired, um, I just inquired as a citizen. Mm -hmm. um, I was told that the boxes have something to do with handicapped crossing. And they are large because they contain an awful lot of technology. Mm. So I tried one, and I will say it's a challenge. And our neighborhood is used as a training ground for 
the uh, Blind Services Center. They bring them into our neighborhood because there are wide sidewalks and they feel it's safe and they learn how to walk. Totally blind people. And um, uh, one of the, one of the um, uh, current uh, people who's working with the uh, blind, I'm going to walk with him over onto Oak Ridge. We've already, he's already mentioned it to me, and we're gonna, I'm going to walk over there with him and, and maybe make some notes that could be passed on um, to the appropriate people uh, in the city. But I'm not sure that it's this board that wants to get into kind of supervising why the DOT does what they do. Right. Um, I'm just it, hoping you get more involved. There's well, more oversight. We, we can stay involved if you continue to be the eyes on a lot of these situations because I think the time is very well spent. Okay. And if you're going to walk with them, walk, take a look at Halifax on the north side. It's a zoo at that corner. Yeah. All right. Any other public comments? All right. Then we will begin with board comments. Tony? Okay, good, good evening, everyone. Sorry I was late, but I've been in Orlando for three days of training, and I got a chance for once to finally see the improvements that they made on I-4, and that traffic was really heavy, but I'm glad to be here, glad to see everyone, glad that I did come in on the telling of everything so that I can report to the planning board um, when we meet this month. Glad to be here. Oh, thank you. Teresa? Um. I attended the uh, ethics training that we're all, I guess, supposed to take, and I found it very interesting. Okay. All right. Um, Robert? I don't really think I have many comments tonight. Okay. Gary? Yeah. Um, I'd like to, I don't know if this would be the appropriate time or next meeting, I would like the board, our board to consider adding the Pledge of Allegiance to our agenda. I think we're the only city board that does not uh, really? incorporate a pledge of allegiance uh, in the front end of their of their meetings and i would very much like uh, us to do that and if you like i could put it in the form of a motion i think we're still live so we can still make motions i'd like to move that we um uh, add uh, the pledge of allegiance as an item in our agenda do i hear a second from anyone well, i was going to say that is there a second I'll second. Okay. Uh, here, uh, any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? We just added the yeah. Pledge of Allegiance. Another item is uh, the, our meeting schedule. I was um, both pleased on one hand and very surprised on the other hand that since I've been on this board, which is a year, we've met three times. And I understand why. I understand exactly why. But there are some items that we have given the, the uh, staff as a task, like the unanimous vote of this board to ask Reed to look through the redevelopment plans and come up with a short list of things that might dovetail with the thinking of the city um, so that we might move ourselves into a posture where we could actually make a recommendation to the Community Redevelopment Agency or the City Commission, because my appointed people are wondering what I, the, if I've been sleeping, like Rick, Rick Van Winkle, because I'm usually a very uh, talkative person. Um, so uh, I think I would like to, um, if it's all right with this board, if we have any item that is a, that we have voted on as an item of information, and it is available, I think that should warrant a meeting just as a, uh, as a zoning change or as, no, a, a, as a, a public we've petition to do something. We've never not had a meeting when there was an item to come before the board, though. Yeah, uh, we've, well. I mean, in fact, uh, ever since this board voted that we will have a meeting at least once every two months, we have had a meeting at least once every two months from that point on. We have never not had a meeting. I mean, I know you said three. Uh, I kind of challenged that because I, because I think we started in the summer to say we have to have a meeting uh, every two months, and we did have a meeting every single two months from that point on. You know. Well, I, my point is that the meeting every two months is subject to the pleasure of this board. No, no, many... we, we made a motion. It, no, no, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, we made a motion. My that point gonna... is that is it the is it the thinking of the board that if we have an item 
that ha that hasn't been addressed that this board has asked the staff to come up with information for um, that that would warrant a meeting is that important i think it's as important enough as the application for a canopy on a business on the boardwalk but that's my opinion and i'm asking my colleagues if you feel that because that'll help decide whether we meet or not whether these items uh, rise to the level if we're going to get involved in um, more in um, the life of the redevelopment zone i'd like us to 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 meet in order to get these things on and off the table and then on to the city commission if they have to may, may i make a suggestion sure that we uh, uh will go back and look over the let's say the, the last year and see what actions have been taken by this board we'll bring them to the next meeting uh, be a good opportunity when we have a new person that we're going to be introducing and and uh, <clears throat> we'll uh, uh, be able to have that discussion and he'll be present to, to there's only that. one there was really only one because the okay. suggestions that I made as an early member were not put in the form of a motion okay. and my colleagues were not asked to vote on them after my discussion with mr. Yeager Geiger Geiger uh, and 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 Kira, uh, he suggested that anything like that be put in the form of a motion. So the request to see if there's anything in the existing plans, which are alive and on the table for consideration by the city, um, um, that that would rise to the level, uh, important level of having a meeting. And I, my natural thought would be it would, but I wouldn't schedule one if my colleagues don't feel that that kind of discussion like whether or not we would like to work with the city staff of this board in order to look at some of these unmet easy to accomplish needs that are in south atlantic and main street and the e-zone mm -hmm. other than peabody which is a, an important one whether uh, we're going to move in that direction I'd like to see us because I think the wind has shifted and my colleagues on Midtown I think are moving more as a proactive board than they have been and um, there's so much there's equal as much to gain for our city in in uh, on the beach side and our board is a very important potentially a very important board and I'd like just to see us do some more well you'll have an opportunity hopefully uh next month okay. and with the city manager here uh and a new redevelopment director that one item i think would yeah. be plenty for me Reed. The, the the single item on the using your judgment and your knowledge of having been here 15 years what mm -hmm. items that are on that those two lists or the three lists could be done for very little money and and are they as important today as they were back then when the city spent two and a half years doing these two plans and thousands of dollars with consultants to get these plans and and many of the items are accomplished the items that uh, relate to Pinewood Cemetery were mm -hmm. accomplished because I was on the Main Street board and I was suggesting that it was a good thing for us to do and there were other things that happened on Main Street that were accomplished. And Peabody and the parking situation in Peabody was a semi-solution as a result of work that uh, the Main Street Board and the E-Zone. Main Street Board ran E-Zone and the Main Street Redevelopment Plans. Those were both a Main Street Board things. Do you feel strongly enough, it's our time, it's your time away from your families and your businesses, you know, for us to meet on a little more regular um, uh, schedule if there's a reason for it. Okay, I, I'm going to speak, since I'm going to be coming off the board, I think I could, uh, it won't seem like bias in any way because, uh, because I'm, you know, uh, if I was selfish and I wanted to, uh, you know, to not come to meetings, then, you know, I mean, it's one of those things that, I think the city staff and uh, 
has said in the past that they, you know, for economic purposes, they were trying to like, you know, have meetings when it was needed. I mean, there's paperwork that uh, there's uh, there's notices that need to be mailed out. If 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 a person has something on the agenda, you know, that he's bringing before him because he wants to have an awning or what have you, then we have to meet. You know, even if it's every single month, just because we have to accommodate the applicant. But and if it's have. yeah, and we and we have. But if it's something that that we're trying to do that could be merged into an application, I think what this board decided um, in the past, and like I said, I'm saying this knowing that I'm coming off this board, but what this board said in the past is a minimum of once every two months. And and so I think that that we should be thinking like that, is that we're going to meet once every two months if if this is a uh, a board comment thing that we want to accomplish, we could we could push it off into the next meeting when we have an applicant and we could do it all together. It saves the city money. It saves uh, legal staff time. It's, it's a minimum every two months, not a maximum. No, I understand that. Okay. I, and 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 I'm not saying that we will only meet every two months. We will meet if if there's an applicant, then it'll be another. But like. I uh, I made the decision bike week, you know, not to have a meeting. We didn't have an app application before this board, and whatever uh, was brought before us, and, and you know, uh, I mean, there was absolutely nothing to meet for, you know, and and it would taken you away from your business, you you away from your business, and I'll be honest with you, I don't think we would have had quorum even if we did meet, you know. <laughs> Um, so, Point you know, well taken. I, I, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that if the pace increases, and I'm hoping this, the pace in our city is increasing. I think things are getting better, not getting worse. I think there might be some opportunities for us, and I just want to make sure that if we if we have something to do, I too have a life. You know, I don't. Uh, this is uh, an important part of my life, but if we don't have any reason to be here, we shouldn't be here. But I think a look, a relook at the redevelopment plans and seeing if there are things in there using Reed's 15 years of experience um, could turn up some projects that are modest projects that would have to go through a review for funding, but that are doable. And I don't know why we don't. Can at least consider that. Okay. All right. Any more? Any more comments? Um, I also attended the Sunshine Law Ethics thing, and I thought it was terrific, the best one I have been to. And there are some new case, results of case law that uh, Kira and I were talking about uh, earlier before the meeting started that really made it relevant to me. I mean, I think it's a very important thing for us to attend and the people who were there with me, we had the, the very first one, really were glad they had gone and they're gonna change their ways uh, in, a, in a lot of ways. Aside from that, thank you very much for your vote of confidence. I will do my best for us to be a relevant board and to make some serious contributions to the Great. to the future of our city. So thank you so, very much. I appreciate it. And thank you for your nomination. No problem. Okay, then I guess it's me. I spoke enough, so a meeting adjourned. Okay. And thank you, Dino. No problem.